I can't take any more of this shit. Don't touch me! <laughs> Stop! I'll fuck your ass. You can't fight. Shut up. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> What advice would you come to me for? Mm. What advice? If you needed, if there was one thing that you needed advice for, what would you come to me for? Mm. I know for a fact. Movie recommendations. Okay. I think that's a solid, I think that's a solid answer. Like a Marvel movie recommendation. It doesn't necessarily have to be Hobbit Marvel. movie recommendation. Well, a Hobbit is just one part of the franchise. You have to say Lord of the Rings and then the Hobbit. You know what I mean? There's, yes. There's a difference. But movie recommendations? Chili's take... entree recommendation. You can't go wrong with the chicken crispers. I tried it that one time with you. It was not good. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I that remember was disgusting. that. That we, we We got a bad batch that day. I'm like, you really eat this? We got a bad batch. I was but thoroughly disappointed. I think I think that's good. I, I'd say that as a compliment in terms of like if you came to me for movie advice. I like that. I just I feel like because you watch a lot of movies. Even though you watch the same movies 25 fucking times. Yeah, but the reason why I watch the same movies 25 times is like if a movie's going on in the background that I've already seen, right? Then, then you're I'm not, not actually watching anything. it. No, but it's like it's, I like it's background, just background noise. background noise and it's familiar. So 100%. You're not and, and you never know. Sometimes, it. you know, you jump into it. But I've been watching. I've been getting to more into shows lately. Like That's, what? Like, so they just put, uh, I think it's The Suits or Suits on Netflix. Have you probably, you've seen it, probably an episode or so. The Lawyer, guy from who didn't go to Harvard, but I not. Just, isn't, um, what's her name in it? Who? I don't think anybody, like, really, really famous. Well, the, she. The mm. princess. <laughs> the one that married. Oh, shit, she's in it. Fuck. Clueless. I didn't even real. I was wondering why she looked so familiar. I was on episode five. I was like, "Why? Why I know this girl from somewhere?" <sighs> damn, you're right. You're right. God damn, we learn something new every day. I did not know she was in that show. She's on the fucking cover on Netflix right I now. I know, but like, I didn't. I guess. I guess the way she looks now, obviously, it's the same. But like, I didn't. I didn't put two and two together. That's how you know I don't get no bitches. Yeah, you know, I can't even remember that shit. I'm glad I got you that shirt though. Yeah, so I'll be going with this shirt. Maybe a little small. I, just I like, picked it out. Yeah. I like, you know. Small. I like it a little bigger. Motherfucker, you're, there's three inches around your arm still. I mean, it's, got it's a little, loose around your shoulders. What are you, listen, Fucking smooth it out or something. Shit. Yeah, okay, then. It's got it all wrinkled up on top. Yeah. Can't take them nowhere. Damn. At least, are you admitting? Did I get no bitches? Yeah. Nah, I wouldn't say that. I get like some bitches. I don't like calling them bitches. I don't like that word. I know. Yeah, so I, like, I just. This like, is a saying more like one of our friends says. So. Yeah, hundred percent. I just thought it was funny. Hundred percent. He. He. He says always admits shit. that he, or he always tries to, say to us that he gets no bitches, and he really does yeah. get bitches. He just likes to hide it. Hundred percent. He he stays on the trend. Oh yeah. I don't Even get... when he has a whole ass girlfriend, he says he gets no bitches Damn, and yeah. doesn't admit to having a girlfriend. He's got a nice car, but he won't admit that he has a nice car. Yeah, he just lies for a living. I'm not gonna say no. I don't think I don't think he lies for a living. I, I just about think, his personal shit. I think just his personality is just to keep you on your toes. No, that's that's his personality. There's some people's personalities that it's just his whole personality. A lot. Listen, there's that's a annoying. lot of people's personalities that they just want to keep you on your toes, keep you on your toes. But flat out lying about shit, even when people are like, "Yo, come on, we know, we know the truth." Yeah, no, hundred percent. But like, at some point, you gotta be like, "Yeah, you know, I'm fuck with you." Yeah, he's facts. never, but he's never said, "I'm fuck with you." He's not it's gonna do that. He's not gonna say that. That's him. I, I don't, honestly, I don't think we're gonna know he's gonna get married and be in a whole ass relationship until they've been married for three years, type shit. Yeah, we will. Because they'll message me. <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> if you're watching this, at least you know now. That every time, like clockwork. I, I don't know. Yeah, but he says he doesn't get no ladies. He doesn't. He stays on Pornhub. That's his thing. That's what you said. Oh yeah. Remember? Yeah. You just be, yeah. Yeah. You just put on a notification. Be like, oh yeah, that uh, what's her name? That just doing that video for the first time without her husband. Lena. Lena, Lena and Adam. Adam twenty two, right? 
Mm-hmm. You know, obviously, I guess it's been it's it's been a big trend because everybody's like, what big trend? Or not big trend, but something I've been seeing come up. Like, damn, Adam let his wife, you know, do a scene with someone else. Is like, well, she does work in the porn industry. That's their career. Yeah. So, but I'm surprised. I I didn't know that that was the first time that she didn't not do something. Like I thought she did other work with other guys, but I have no idea to be honest. Point but I, I just remember him saying that he they do scenes with other girls. So yeah, hundred percent. So I'm like, what's the difference? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a difference. I could there is a difference because I think for me, if I was in his shoes, I wouldn't let my wife. I would do other scenes with other girls with my wife, but I wouldn't let my wife do a scene with another man. Nah. So why the double standard? No, it's just that's just that's just me. Is it fair? No, but that's but just. But what me. if she wanted it? Well, then we're going to have to sign this divorce and go about our business. So it's okay one way, but not the other way. That's just for me. I just don't think I can bring myself to do. To so you don't like, see the hypocrisy? No, I, I do. I just said it's not fair. 100%. It's not fair. No. But I, it's just, it's, for me, it's just going to be very Because when right? men get with all these women, oh my God, he's the man. Like, I just If don't... a girl gets with multiple guys, oh, she's a whore. I That's the that. hypocrisy. I'm saying, oh, oh. just in oh, general. 100%. That's the thing. So it's like, oh, my God, Adam, you're letting her. Oh, my God, you're letting her do a scene with someone else. And he's like, well, I do a lot of scenes with, like, we do a lot of scenes with other women. And they say nothing about that. But the fact that he's letting her do something with other another man, one, blows their fucking minds. They don't know how to handle it. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I guess. I don't know. You know, I'm not really hip with the porn industry and how that shit works, but uh-huh. I don't know. You know, it's just crazy. You know, it's crazy. I think people would be surprised at how many porn stars and OF girls are actually in relationships or married. Probably a good bet, I feel There's like. There's a bunch that I didn't even know. And when, like, I've had conversations with them, they're like, yeah, my boyfriend shoots my content. My husband shoots my content. And I'm like, damn. Yeah, more. more look at y'all. Like, yeah. I had no idea. And I've followed these girls for years. More people, more relationships are more pro. I'm just saying, like, it. yeah, I'm just saying, like, I'll, there's always that stereotype of, like, oh, I would never be with a girl that does any of these things. I think now. But yet, most of these girls already have somebody. Yeah. You I know mean, what I mean? No, 100%. And nowadays, I think one thing I've seen now, like, every 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 three girls or profile I come by or whatnot, they got OnlyFans nowadays. Like, it's just everyone has one. You know what I mean? It's okay. just like most of the time they have boyfriends yeah. or in relationships. Right. And they don't care what you think because they're already yeah. in a relationship with somebody. Because like, what's, I think the main thing is this. Most of the guys that would never be with an OF girl or a porn star or whatever, do they, porn stars and OF girls even want to be with you? You're like speaking on something that's probably not even going to apply to you ever. Facts. I think... You know what I mean? Yeah. It's always the ones that are like, I would never, I would never date but, one. And it's like, but would they ever date you? Because no offense, I don't see it happening for you, dog. I mean, I think I would, I think I would date a porn star. I mean, I, I've already talked to OnlyFans girls, but yeah. I think I would date a, mm, yeah, I think I would. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't. I mean, I mean. I don't know. I feel like that's tricky. Why but, is it tricky? And, uh, but at the same time, I'm trying to I'm trying to ask myself why is that tricky too? Because mm-hmm. like, how, how is that different than talking or dating someone that's OnlyFans? But there is a little the amount of though. women that have sent you videos, right? And I don't see a difference between that mm-hmm. because if they're sending you videos, they're probably sending it to other guys, even if they're not OF and just porn stars, just general average. Everyday women, there's nothing wrong with women that don't do that type of content. Yeah. But those same women are the ones sending that type of content to the men that they talk to, not even date, but just at least talk to. But I think it's different. Not when, every like, single woman, but there no, are. 100%. But I feel like So it's your different. content's already in the hands of men. True. But I think it's different when somebody's paying for it. And What's the difference? Can... That's, the, that's the, exactly the difference. Guys, I mean, guys like... The idea of objectifying a woman. A lot of times, men objectify women without their consent, right? Okay. You see a woman, 
maybe she's got a low cut top and they're like oh my god i'd fuck the shit out of her oh my god i bet I she looks be, yeah. whatever naked oh you're already like most men are usually already like, like what, picturing like, her yeah, in a well, certain way without her consent or talking or messaging her in a way without her consent right even if she doesn't do this type of content right then you add in the fact that she is uh consenting to monetizing the objectification of her own body, right? So she's okay with it. She's comfortable with her own shit. She's like, you know what? You guys objectify me anyways. So now that I'm consensual with it and I'm making money off of the shit you guys already do without my consent, it's a problem, right? You bring a valid point to the table. So I think that's the issue. Guys don't like when women consent to it. Instead of us being like, ew, don't. Don't send me these. Don't say this about me. Don't look at my body. I'm posting this not for you, which most women still aren't. We're saying, yeah, if you're going to look at it anyways, you know, I might as well make money off of it since y'all objectify me anyways. Now it's a problem. So you don't like it when she is okay with it, when she consents to it. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Now you don't give a fuck. No, no. I, I'm just I mean, saying in general, that's what most guys are like. Oh, Cause those same those same guys that like have fucking porn addictions and like picture women like that anyways, right? They're the ones that feed into creating the demand for this type of shit. Yeah. There's such a huge demand for porn and for that type of content. There's so much. Listen, it's looking not at women's stopping. bodies, it's not and stopping. it's not stopping. And y'all are contributing. Y'all are causing the market and these women are just deciding to fulfill it because it's they're it's, either like a lot of women are honestly more comfortable with their bodies than you would think like a lot of times people associate it with oh you have no respect for yourself you this and that and it's like what if i actually really love my body and i'm okay with showing it because i'm that comfortable with it right as opposed to oh you don't love yourself you don't, maybe you just fucking hate yourself and you're projecting that onto women that actually love how they look. I said, I think, like I said, I think all women, all, all women are beautiful and they come in different shapes and sizes. You know what I mean? Not I sure ever, what that means <laughs> with what like, I'm saying. I mean, I'm saying like they love their body regardless of yeah. what it is. Yeah. But, There's, yeah, all types. It's not one size that only those that size of people can love themselves. Like, yeah, 100%. big, small, short, tall, it doesn't but matter. There's an industry. Like you said, the the men are creating. I agree with that. The men, men are creating the market. If men didn't want or didn't demand or all but want this type of shit, didn't get off on seeing this type of content, we wouldn't be making it. There would yeah. be no industry. It's definitely a women's industry, though, right now, 100%. Mm. Oh, for uh, when I. Uh, when I sp- yes and no, I'd say. I feel like, I mean, I'm trying to. It get, It's get, it's seen as a women's industry, but there's obviously male porn stars yeah, and 100%. men that do it as well, right? But those same guys that hate women doing it love the men that make the content. They're just like, oh, my God, Jason Love. Oh, my God, he fucked all these porn stars that I love him so much. Oh, yeah. And he's the man. Oh, my gosh. Like I want to be him. I want to be Oh, how was it working with this girl? Like, I've seen it on his lives on TikTok. And he's like, and all these men are, like, just fanboying in the comments and are like, oh, my God, you fucked so, or you collaborated with so-and-so. Oh, my God, you're my idol. The same <laughs> guys will. Me collab. <laughs> the, the same guys will go on, like, other girls' content and be like, what a whore. Like, oh my God, you don't love yourself. What do your but, parents think of you? Yeah. Bitch. What the fuck? Like, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it doesn't. I don't get why it's an industry that is created mostly by males and then they hate it. They hate the people that do it. Like, make up your mind. Yeah, I don't understand it. I, I don't, listen. And I can only speak from what I know or what I see. It's just it's a it's a it's a it's a industry where men are paying for it and supply and demand. Supply demand. You know what I mean? So ladies go get your bag. You know, I'm a cherry on from the sidelines. Not gonna get my money, but good luck. I mean I mean, not a lot of things get your money exactly. except for food. So Fuck. Yeah, speaking of food, I've spent almost $500 in the past two weeks on just food. It's ridiculous. 
Seems normal. No, that's a little... I don't know. When I had, we had this debate, and I was trying to tell people, I was like, listen, y'all think being big mm-hmm. is is cheap, is easy. Mm-mm. That that Who thinks that? Nobody thinks that. Some people... Nobody like, thinks being like, bigger I say being, is cheap. When I say being big, but like there's like a... Being a large man... Like, I, for example, I got a friend, right? He's like 220, right? He eats like two, two, two three times a day, right? He's like, bro, yeah, I don't spend much money on food. I'm like... Motherfucker, what? I eat six to seven times a day. You're nuts. I I I I buy these two double packs of chicken breasts from Costco. Mm-hmm. They cost me thirty thirty dollars. Mm-hmm. I run through those in a week. It's thirty dollars in a week. Yeah, but there's other. That's like I could eat it all in one day, honestly. But I don't. I try to change it up. I eat some steak. You know what I mean? Some 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 bison. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Bison's you know. Turkey sausage. All right. We're mm. not going into your diet right now. No, I'm just saying. It's expensive, man. So, if you know, if I, if I started an OnlyFans for me eating food with clothes. Someone's going to look. Someone will. Someone will. Why wouldn't you? Why are you so against even taking your shirt off? I don't know. I just feel. It's just, ugh. You take your shirt off for your story, though. Yeah, because it's progress. And okay. It, it, I think it's because it deletes. Okay. But people can screenshot it though. But it, yeah. it's but I have my I have my shirt on. You know what I mean? And you know I keep my pants on. So I can't even. I don't even be posting shit with Grace. Listen, the last time I tried to post something show a little leg, I got banned. So that's already a sign that, that I shouldn't be doing. Nothing to do that. with this shit. Like the fuck, a sign. I I I show a little. I show a little in a thigh, and I get banned. I'm not doing that. that now nothing to do with it. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? I take pride in you know my 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 workouts and being in shape. You know what I mean? But listen, let me say this. Let me speak on this real quick though, gentlemen, and ladies. Okay, ladies, you wouldn't like if a man came up to you and be like, "Damn, you got a big butt in the gym," would you? No, I don't think. I think that could be disrespectful, right? Someone may take it positive, but I think okay. that could be disrespectful. Okay, my guys, that doesn't mean you should do it to other men either. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, I don't want... Listen, I go to the gym just like these young ladies to work out and to be in my zone. That doesn't mean I want you to come tap on my shoulder and be like, hey, bro, how I get a backside like you? No. No. Now, I will tell you, you train hard. This is what you tell them. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. No. 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 That's not... No. no. <laughs> Maybe the, if you go to her and ask, yes. For me, no, sir. Call your page. I, uh, Cakes by Mike no, T. No, no, no. Cake if, up in the gym no, by Mike T. No. Now, if you if you want to come build the gluteus maximus with me, that's one thing. Mr. Booty Butt Cheeks. No, you no, no. You overstepping. <laughs> All right. You can. I have no issues. You coming to me and saying, "Hey, bro, how I get legs in a, in a butt like that." I, I teach you. Come train with me. You know what I'm saying? But don't come over and be like, damn, bro, you got a big butt. Don't do that. Don't do that. Men, women, I, I mean, ladies, it's it's okay. Ladies, I, I, I'll be like, oh, I appreciate it. You know Caked I mean? up the Mike T way. Stop. Stop. You're just over fucking stepping today. Okay? I know. Listen, listen. Let, I'm going to be a little vulnerable here. I know I got a dump truck. Okay? <laughs> I, I train legs. Okay, I in my head, I'm very self conscious that I have small legs. Okay, the body is more like when I no, just all together. I don't like I like my legs, but I, I feel like they still work 100. percent And you know where I'm where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my knee to ankle ratio is is long, like a long. Okay, my knee to ankle ratio. Knee. To ankle is long. Therefore, I have long calves. I think calves. it's a normal size. Therefore, yeah. I have long calves. I feel that I don't have... I, I feel like I have small calves. It's your insecurity. It's my insecurity, yes. right? So I train the fuck out of my legs, calves, You should just quads. walk around on your tippy toes. No, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. That's not healthy. That's not, no, it's not. It's not healthy. What? You know what I mean, I train... I used to... Bro, I train glutes and legs... Twice, sometimes three times a week. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because the base is the foundation. The base is the foundation. Mm. But don't come up to me and ask, hey, bro, I get a butt like you. Dump, Unless you're a female. Dump trucks by Mike T. What is up with you in this dump truck? He got I'm a not, donk. I'm not, he making got a only, I'm not making an OnlyFans for my butt. Hey. 
I'm not. And, and for and listen. I'm not saying for your butt for workouts. Listen, and for y'all who who been in the DMs asking for shit like that, you're nasty. You're nasty. Why? Some people like that shit. Yeah, but it's not. So you're mad because they like your cakes. No, I didn't say I was mad. I'm just saying, you know, come at it respectfully. They want a slice. No, what the fuck? A slice of what? That cake. I can't do this. This is just not for me. Listen. All I'm going to say is keep building. The cake will come. Okay? Yes. Listen, I got... Keep baking. The cake will come. It's taking everything in me not to throw this phone at her fucking head. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear everything I love. Like, Are you the chef, me. though? Are you the chef? Who else would Baking be that cake? Who else would be the fucking chef? I'm saying for other people, damn. No. Like, can I can I get other people's yes. don't charge 100 percent All right. That's I, what they I, want. I, I can help Cakes build by Mike your Gooners Maximus. That's not what you were saying. You were saying yes. they want slices. When when you say slice, when I hear a slice, a cake, that means I'm finna eat the cake. Mm. Exactly. Eat the cake. Exactly. Anime. I don't want my cake eaten. Uh, unless it's maybe by my wife. You lying. No, I, I said unless it's maybe by my girl or my wife. That's it. This cake is not for sale. So don't try and purchase it. You can purchase the exercises. I'm telling you, I was saying make exercises on an OnlyFans. But why why has it gotta be an OnlyFans? Like I have a gym. <laughs> because not everyone's gonna live here. hundred percent. That wants so to can, grow a dump truck. For sure. So Mike if you, T style. If you wanna grow a dump truck Mike T style, go ahead and hit me up in the DMs. I got you. Oh my god. Instagram. I got but you. But is that monetizable? Uh okay. That's the point. Uh, 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 if, we if talking money. Enough, if there's enough of y'all that want me to make Jesus. an OnlyFans of me growing, helping you grow your dump truck, ladies and guys, you know. You try to I help him you. out. He just rejects it until you talk about what about the money. That's crazy. I was just looking out for you. You should take my advice. Just overstepping. I'm not overstepping. On today's episode of Relationship <laughs> Advice with a man who's never been in a relationship. Yeah, let's hear. We have a couple. Hear what advice you have, and I won't interrupt <clears throat> this time. Let's begin. <clears throat> <sighs> my old college friend told my husband that I've slept with over 100 men. What do I do? He's not. He is not happy. Well, you, you tell him this. You slept with 100 men. It's in the past. Get the fuck over it. I mean, did you give him, you know, committee? Like, no. That, that Anything in the past didn't result to something now. Right. It's, it's in the past. You know what I mean? So if he, if he can't come to terms like, okay, well, she had her, she did her thing. You know what I mean? In the past. It's over. Move on. Right. All right. That's like you saying you're not going to talk to Aubrey because she slept with 300 men. 300? Jesus just Christ. Random, that's not the number, right? Absolutely okay, not. I'm just making sure. You sure? What, what, what is it? 300? I just threw up a, a ridiculous nuts. number. Is it like half of that? No, not even close. So more than half? No, fool. Oh, less than half. So like 55? We're not playing the numbers game today, but you're nowhere close to my shit. Thank you. So I'm, I need to work lower? It's no guessing uh -huh. game. I was just asking. I love you want to get in the numbers? I love charades. You want to get in the numbers? No, not really. You, say, you want the same shit you were on yesterday? <laughs> we can do that. No. We can do the back and forth we did no, yesterday. No, no. <laughs> All right, but no, for real. Uh, if he has a problem, man, go ahead and just Yeah, I feel like if it's in. from the past. It's the past. And you guys, it, did they say girl or hus husband? A or, husband. Or, I'm sorry, boyfriend or husband. Okay. Husband, yeah. So Y'all yeah. married, it's past. You're married. Like, what is it? Affect? If he has an issue, you sign a divorce. First of all, how did y'all not talk about this shit before you were married? Well, some people don't bring up Not the saying numbers, but like. Yeah, but like maybe she's like, oh, yeah, I had a. Maybe she probably said, oh, yeah, I had a little, you know, I had a little freak time in the past. Everyone but, has their little phases or phase. Yeah. 100%. I'm sure he did too. 100%. Like, what? what is the issue now that you're married? It's not 100%. like she's cheating on you. 100%. Not even gonna lie to me. 100%. 100%. Who gives a fuck? Next. <clears throat> I asked my friend to be my friends with benefits. Now she won't talk to me. What do we do? Well, here, 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 big fella. Let me let me tell you something. I feel like you just didn't read the room there. You should have just kind of read the room, and then maybe that would have told you maybe to ask this or not. But then at the same time, it's just that's a fifty fifty, because it's just like, like that's me reading the room in our relationship, and I go up like, hey, you want to be friends with? Ben? I've already read the room that that's not a thing at all, not even close. All right, I read the room. You sir did not. 
So with that, the relationship is probably over because you fucked it up. So it's like no really going back from that. Yeah, I feel like you need to know what your friendship is. <laughs> and if you want more, like what the fuck? Facts. Then you're not really just friends, nah, I feel yeah, like. Yeah. 100% you. If you want more. Get a little nasty ting, eh? Next, I found my husband masturbating to my sister. What do I do? Leave that motherfucker. That's disgusting. I need details. Are y'all twins? <laughs> Dude, that's all, are y'all twi- if, if y'all are twins, there might be somewhat of an exception here. But if y'all aren't twins, then I'm just saying you're... I think I think what it was was like your husband was really interested in your sister but couldn't get your sister, so he settled for you. That's weird. That's weird. Well, some people have weird family relation fetishes, mm. like those whole mommy issues, mm. mommy and step step mom, step bros, shit. and yeah, yeah, sound like some real Alabama. But like shit. how like how did she find this out? That's all I got. Is like I've... to her picture. Listen, all I've got is I found my husband masturbating to my sister. So I'm assuming like a picture or a video. Yeah, we're done. Let me ask you this. Real talk. Have you ever masturbated to somebody, but it's like just a picture of them? Like they have clothes on and everything. No. Like never in your imagination. In my imagination? Like you, you pull up a picture. Like, I don't look at like images. Example, I ain't going to lie to you. It, I ain't going to lie. It was one time. Holly Berry done got me. Holly Berry done got me. I am not going to sit here and lie to y'all. What the I'm, fuck? No, Holly Berry is fire. Yeah. And there was one time, I forget how old, I know I was in high school. She was in that. It was one of them pictures. She was in the cat suit. Oh! Catwoman. Yes, sir. Sweet baby Jesus. Hallelujah. It was the leather, huh? Oh! Patent leather or whatever. And all I had to do was just, I looked into that picture, into that song. Boy. Jeez. Boy, boy, boy. Had to clean that ceiling up. <laughs> First of all, boy, boy, boy. It was a, it was a phrase. Second, was a, ceiling? Yeah, no, it was short ceilings. I was like, I think that was like one of the- You have that amount of I think, No, but I think that was trajectory? one of the first ones. That was one of the first ones. Ever. I was to in Holly high, Berry. Like, I think it was in high, no, freshman year, I think. Yeah. To Holly Berry. Holly Berry. 100%. Sweet baby Jesus. But yeah, it's nothing. Listen, guys, don't don't overthink it, though. <laughs> don't overthink it. <clears throat> Next, don't worry about me. Hey, you know, Holly Berry, good. Holly Berry, if you seen this, girl, you know, go ahead and hit my phone. <clears throat> uh, Hell great, no. I'll be a great husband. All right, next. My girlfriend follows a lot of attractive guys on IG and likes all their posts. What do I do? I just feel uncomfortable. I'm not sure what to do. Well, I mean, you got to really you got to really dive into it, you know what I mean? 100% is she fucking cheating, but you have to really dive into the fact that, you know, she's cheating and you just got to come to terms with that. So yeah, she's cheating, bro. That's my advice. Leave her. She's cheating. You have anything to add to that? So liking pictures. No, okay. Liking yeah. pictures and following men is cheating. 100%. Damn. But, you're but never when, getting in a relationship. But then when guys do it, it's okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I'm just fucking with you. No, no, he might not, she might not be cheating, but it just depends on what the posts are. Like, if it's just like, nah. Does it depend on the post? Uh, yeah, I feel like if a girl posts her and her family and like they're with her husband and you like the picture because you're friends with her, I don't see no issue with that. Uh-huh. But if she's, you know, in a bikini and you're liking the picture and then going liking a whole bunch of them and then commenting, fire, fire, fire. You have a whole girlfriend? That's cheating. They, Not, the advice that was they were looking for was what should he do? First of all, you should have a conversation. Yeah, but then also look into what type of pictures that she's liking. I don't think it fucking matters. Okay, for sure. To me, it doesn't matter. To me, I feel like it would matter. Because those same ones that literally will post their whole family will cheat on their girl, even though they don't follow other girls. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if they're liking selfies, family pictures, pictures of the girl with her husband. They're probably still sliding in the DMs afterwards, right? It's possible. I've seen it. I've experienced it. The same ones that don't follow girls can be doing that shit and vice versa. So I feel like you just need to have a conversation about it and see what they're really on and what it's really about. And if some people don't care if you see their social media. Would you ever show a girl your DMs and your... Like, yeah, DMs. Like, what what stage am I talking? Like, if it was your girlfriend. And I had nothing to hide, yeah. 
But if you did have something to hide. No, I'm not going to show it. Exactly. 100%. So that's how we know. When we're in real 100%. ass relationship but, and a guy's like, no, that's private. I'm not going mean, to show it, you it shit. Is, there is, you should have a sense of, tr like, I would be, I would feel offended. Like, if I'm in a relationship and I know I haven't done anything wrong and she approaches me like, oh, so then what's the, I get it. But what's the problem with just proving? No, there there isn't. But I think you have to also establish, like, listen. I'm I'm gonna show you, but I just want you to also understand that you have just you have just in you have just what's the word I'm looking for? In truth, no. You've just ruined my right to privacy. Thank you. That's the way. Right to I, privacy. Did she go and look? Go in your thing. No, and but get like her it's own. like the fact that the fact that like that's I feel like in a relationship you should still have uh -huh. privacy. Okay. In a sense. Yes, you you and her are in in a relationship together. Right. I mean, you should communicate, but you're still right to your own privacy. Okay, but it's not like she went in your phone and looked at her, so that would be invading your privacy. I don't know, bro. Listen, if just she's got a question, why wouldn't you just answer? Yeah, I did. I just wanted yeah. to make sure you know. Like, I hope you know you're you're, you're invading <laughs> my privacy, but yeah, bro, just have a conversation. <clears throat> Next, found my wife's old sex tape. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Now our marriage is on the rocks. Uh, if you have any advice, please share. Well, listen, your marriage isn't on the rocks. Use that sex tape to your advantage. All right? You, you see the sex tape, and you're like, damn. That's your old sex tape. It's in the past. So all you have to do is be like, hm, let's make a new one then, babe. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you, if, 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 if you feel like that's not your thing, some people like seeing their wives get destroyed. Very so true. then you can use that too as well to your advantage. So there's a lot of ways you can skin this cat, but don't overthink it because it's in the past. Now, should she have deleted that shit? A hundred percent. Yes. But she may have made a mistake. Mistake happened. Use that to your advantage. Be open minded. Okay. Make it into a game. Make it work in your benefit. Therefore, make another sex tape and be like, "Oh, you like sex tape? You like watching that shit? Huh? I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna show you today." Good fucking advice right there, Mike T. God, it don't mm. be better than that. Any day. <clears throat> Next one. Thank you. <laughs> I can't get turned on by my wife anymore. I'm not really sure what to do. She's starting to notice. What, what What do I do? Well, listen, if you're not getting turned on by your wife, you have to ask yourself the root of the problem. What is the problem? Is Are you not attracted to her anymore? Is there something that she's doing or not doing that's throwing you off i feel like before you jump to oh i don't love her anymore that might not be the case y'all may just have to spice up the relationship you know what i mean maybe go see a sex doctor no my fault maybe go see a sex coach you don't need a sex doctor you need a sex coach maybe you know this is good movie sorry movie show on netflix i forgot what it was called but it helps people spice up their relationship in the bedroom do you know what it's called the one i told you about Maybe. We'll just say it in a... Principles of pleasure. No, that's not it. But that might be a good one, too, as well. Um, but, yes, it'll go in there and spice up oh, your uh, relationship. How to build a sex room? Nope. But that may also help you, too, as well. Those are two good room. ones. She's not on the money with the one I'm thinking, but those are two good ones. How to build a sex room? That's phenomenal. You know, get some little hanging things, put it in a little leash. I don't fucking know. Whatever works for you, partner. Leash. All right? You know what I mean? It just... Get a whip. Just start whipping her backside, all right? So all things can be worked, all right? Don't have faith now. Stay in, stay in the game, though. Stay in the game. Don't give up net. <clears throat> Don't give up yet. Ah, oh, next. <clears throat> Damn, I should have brought my readers. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend didn't tell me that she had kids, and I'm really angry about it. Well, listen. What? <laughs> the fact, listen, and that's all you said to me was my girlfriend really didn't tell me that she had kids. Listen, the fact that you didn't find the fuck out. On like, did your you own, even get to know each other? Yeah, like, did you not check her Instagram, just Facebook? Jumped into a relationship. Yeah, like, where were those kids when you were FaceTiming? You know, where, right? Like, where were those? You've kids never when been you to her place. You, yeah, and you're like, in a relationship. I don't know. Where, where, where were the kids on Mother's Day? You know what I mean? It's just like. <laughs> Like, ask yourself. Honestly, the only person you could blame here is yourself. You know what I mean? Now, yes, she lied. Unless she has no, like, custody and doesn't see them ever. That's 100%. the only thing I can yeah, think. But maybe, but. I feel like any mom is going to be like, yeah, I have kids, like, off the bat. I don't know, man. I mean, that's you, 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 that's your own fuck up, honestly. I, I really can't help you there. So you should just, they stay together? I mean, that's really, that's a cop. You're angry about it, but you ain't leave her. Exactly. Moving on. Um, <clears throat> should I tell my Would friends? Would you what, leave? Hold on. Would you leave? What? If, if I found you out she had, had kids? a girlfriend and all of a sudden, she, three months into it, she told you she, you found out she had kids. I think it just would depend on how many kids. 
Two. Yeah, she's going to get this. I'm going to have to get the seven. What? I'm going to have to get the stepping. I gotta, stepping? Yeah, oh. I would leave. Yeah, because it's just like, well, how long have we been in the relationship, too? Three months. We've been in three months? Yeah, after three months, you don't talk. Like, people tell me they have kids after the third day. I mean, first day? What you mean? Oh, yeah, first day. It's yeah. Like the first time you meet them, they're like, I, right. I'm, I'm a dad. I have yeah, 100%. Two kids. Yeah, and there's sometimes where I'll be like, you know, oh, you have kids? They're like, yeah, okay, well, you know, you seem like a great mom. Not for me, but it's just. You know, I think a mom would be good for you. No, nah, I, I think I'm right. That sounds, no. Why not? not? I just don't want to deal with children right now. I love kids. I mean, kids. you probably wouldn't for a few months. I don't want to deal with them at all. Ever. They're not mine. Yeah. That's yeah, no. Established. I think, I, think, I think for me it's just like, I'm more so, I don't know. I just don't want to deal with it. I'm huh. not against it, but I just want to do you it. are against it. Say what you were gonna say. No, I just I don't. I feel like in the past that I've talked to girls who have kids, I've dealt with more baby mama drama, baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, and just like a mixture of an, an allotment of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just like, fuck. Well, I'm over here playing stepdad and shit. Like, what the fuck? Right, but I mean, don't you realize like the older you get, more statistically, they'll probably have a kid. Yeah, that's why I'm not 100 percent against it. I'm not. You just said they're not my kids. Yeah, hence why. I didn't say I was 100% against it. Moving on. <clears throat> Should I tell my friends with benefits girlfriend that she's getting cheated on? Or is it none of my business? Well, let's, 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 <laughs> wait a second. Hold on. Should again? I tell my friends with benefits girlfriend? Mm. Hmm. So it's a girl saying My this. friends with benefits girlfriend. Yeah. It's from a girl? Yeah. Okay. That she's getting cheated on. Or is it none of my business? <laughs> Do I really have to answer that? I got shit to say. <laughs> like, do I really have to answer that? Yeah, answer it. No, I'm not answering it. What no, did no, you have no, to say? No, no, no I want to hear what you We want to hear your advice. No, I want to hear what you have to say. Your advice. I, You've never been in a relationship. So what would your advice be? I have no advice on this one. Go ahead. Why do you not have advice? I, I this don't. is your segment. Yeah, but th- this one just triggers. Go ahead. I think it depends on how the situation started so if you knew he had a girlfriend when you got into this friends with benefits right Mm -hmm. then you knew ahead of time i don't think you have a basis to tell her i would agree because you knew what you were getting into 100 percent. you agreed to this shit even though even though yeah he had a girl yeah so there's nothing you can really say i agree but if you got into this And you think you're, you know, just maybe hooking up or maybe dating. Clearly, she said friends with benefits, so she thinks they're just hooking up. And you didn't know he had a girl, and then you found out, I think then you have a basis to tell her. I agree. Because you didn't know, and you were just in this. You were put in this, right? Mm -hmm. So you're kind of blindsided. I agree. That would be my advice. Great job, Aubrey. Next. Girlfriend calls ex. I don't know if I like you agreeing with me on these advice things. Girlfriend calls ex every night. Very uncomfortable. Not really sure what to do. Listen, if if she's calling her ex every night, you know what I'm saying, then there's an issue there. You know what I mean? Like every night? Like maybe once a week. Once a what? Week is, I'm sorry. sorry. No, but once a week is not even okay either. But she's calling her ex every night. Bro, bro, they're using you, bro. They're, they're in an intimate relationship. You're just a placeholder, Okay. Like, she might just be there to build her credit. I don't fucking know. But, mm. bro, it's just, no, dog, you need to leave. This is not healthy. This is not healthy for you. And I want the best for you. You need to leave. It sounds like they're long distance and you're just the side piece. Exactly. In town, mm. to be honest. Why would any girl be talking to her ex? <sighs> Weirdos. Once a week or every day. It's crazy. Weirdos. Next. My, fr- my, my girlfriend got fast shamed in the street. I did nothing. I feel shame. Well, you should. You should feel shame. Your girlfriend got fat shame in the street and you said nothing. You motherfucker. You said not a damn thing. Your girlfriend got fat shame in the street in front of you. And you you probably looked at her, looked at them to see what they said, looked back at her and be like, hmm, I think I'm going to go get a pizza. That's probably what the fuck you did. All right? That is disgusting. Like you, you're not even going to stick up for your girl? Yeah. Like... I'm surprised she didn't leave you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know you're wrong because you fucking yeah. wrote in you, and said, you I feel, in, I feel awful. this out. A hundred percent. About how bad you felt instead of talking to her about it. Yeah. Like, 
You said nothing. You worthless? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, two wrongs don't make a right. Two wrongs don't make a right. You piece of... No. You mother... No. Sir, do better. Okay? Yeah, like why... Why do that? What's the point of being in a relationship? 100%. You're there to defend each other and be there for each other. 100%. You can't even defend her to strangers in the street? You're just going to let them sit there and talk to your girlfriend and like fat that? shame her for like what like what and say nothing like that's and like, then go and write a post about it like imagine if that was your mother yeah what would your mother say i guarantee the same man would say some shit of it they were saying something about his mother 100 percent. sounds to me like <sighs> you're just not that into it it's into just, her. no I, no no i don't even think it's that i just think you know there may have been your brain just wasn't processed that day or you weren't maybe really you're not thinking. quick with the comebacks maybe not maybe you needed a couple of minutes to go write down your thoughts and come back and say yeah. what you needed to say maybe next time you know you hear it process it go to a fucking coffee bead write down your fucking thoughts then maybe come back and say what the fuck you have to say maybe by then it'd be the next fucking morning at 12 noon and they're, they're not, not gonna be there. there exactly you but gotta you be know, quick with it you gotta you, know you gotta have some quick ass yeah. comeback like if, if they said oh my god she's so fat you should be like your mom you know what i mean you could have said that that would have maybe mm. helped the situation that was something but something. they ain't do nothing but you didn't say shit you didn't say shit all right it's just, I'm just disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. Same. I'm disappointed. Do better. Okay? And don't come, don't, don't, don't send me no other message until you fix the situation. You find those gentlemen. At least have a conversation with her. Like, damn, I fucked up. I didn't know what to say back. But and I'll, next time I promise or, you know, I'll do this to make up for it. Like, you got to make up for that because she's not feeling too good right now. And listen, listen, listen. If, she, if she's watching this, honey. Don't worry about don't worry about those men, okay? You look good. You look good. Okay? Wear what you want, eat what you want, do what you want. Period. Okay? Because if your man don't like it, I promise you somebody gonna like it. You know what I'm saying? And also, leave that motherfucker. <laughs> don't give him the chance to even apologize. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But you don't even trip. Don't even trip. If you wanna go to pizza, go get a pizza after the club. Girl, I'm right there with you. Make sure you get two ranches instead of one. I need that double ranch. Don't forget that that Parmesan sauce too. This should be hitting. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's all today with the advice. <laughs> I hope y'all. What the fuck was that? I hope y'all leave me with good advice to fly and flourish in this dangerous world that we live in. And don't if your girl is getting fat shame, don't sit there and act like a bitch. Because you definitely don't. Yo, what? Get no bitches. You just said, if you're a girl. No, I said, if you're, oh, that's a girl? If you're a girl, if you're a girl getting fat shame, don't fault. be a bitch. My fault. You cut that out. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say it again. <clears throat> Let me go back. Rewind. Yo. Listen, listen. And if you're a man and you watch your girl get fat shame and you didn't say shit, use a bitch. And you definitely... Don't get no bitches. That was a good one. Take that other one out. We got to take that shit out. Because <laughs> I thought I said it right, but I guess I didn't. If we you're could, a girl. We could put it at the blooper end where oh they think God. the show is over, but then, boop, I'll pop back in. That'd be nice. Um, next topic. Oh, shit. It's 42 minutes. Holy fuck. We might as well make another episode. Yeah. That's all I got. Well, that's it. That's all the advice we, Mike T has for you. Yeah, I thought I had more in me, but... I do not. Relationships. Holly Bear, if you're watching this, girl, bring that leather. Mm, mm, mm. Bring the cat suit. Yes, ma'am. That's all it takes. Listen, I hate cats. But for you, girl, bring all the cats you want. Uh, just make sure you bring yours. Woo! You're nasty. No, like the cat suit one. No, bring, like, bring your cat, girl. Yeah, like Holly she's Barry, the cat. bring your cat, girl. No, not like that. That's Holly, what it sounds like. Respectfully, Holly, I love you. <laughs> girl, I love you. That short hair you was rocking back in 2000? Oh, <laughs> sweet baby Jesus. Honey, you can just, whoo, whoo. Relax. You can tie me up and, and scratch okay. me with a paw all day. You want to put a little tuna on my chest so you can eat it all? Disgusting. You know them cats like them tuna? You little nasty thing. <laughs> Crunch your tiger, hit a drink. All right, drink. we're done.